as a photographer, I was able to buy land with my photography NFTs. Now, this is not a video about why NFTs are good or why you should be doing them or that you should be getting into crypto or anything like that. This is just me telling you my story. For so many years, I tried saving money. Like I was just living off of like $200 a month after bills and rent and helping my parents and paying school loans. And after like 11, 12 years of this kind of lifestyle, just saving as much money as I can, I was only able to save like 10 grand, you know, and that's very sad. Like for someone, I'm 35, by the way, for someone saving for that long, like there is no hope that I would have ever bought land or ever bought a house. I would pretty much just be a wage slave, pay rent forever kind of person. And it wasn't until NFTs that I saw an opportunity, an opportunity that I wish more photographers took. Fortunately, too many people, I don't know, I want to say they just don't get it. Like too many people, they don't understand what a digital good is. They just, they only believe in things they see and they can touch. They don't believe in things that are, exist in the digital realm, but that's the world we're living in. And you know, I'm not the only photographer that has found success. There's lots of photographers that took the plunge. Some of them found success, some of them haven't. Anyways, this story is about me, the land I was able to buy, and right now I, about ha I have about half as much as I need to finish building a house. You know, if crypto recovers, and it will, it always does. It goes through these cycles. Then I'll have enough to buy a house, maybe 2024, 2025. Like I said, I saved for so many years, living off like 200 bucks a month, and I was only able to save like 10 grand. I've been, I started selling NFTs on OpenSea. I took the plunge. I took like 200 bucks. I converted it to ETH, and I used it to mint my first piece. Now, not every marketplace is that expensive. Ethereum is just like an old coin and it is expensive when a lot of people are using it. That's just like a way of the network trying to slow down the usage. But there's lots of other coins like Tesos or Solana or whatever, where it's, it's only cost like 0 0.00001 cent to mint your piece. Like you don't have to do it on Ethereum. But back then I didn't know. So I started on Ethereum, which I'm kind of glad I did because it is kind of a gamble. Like you mint your first piece as an NFT. You're unsure if anyone's going to buy NFTs. And like I said, this video is not about y'all's comments on whether you think NFTs are good or bad or not. Because you're just like an artist. I'm just a photographer. I'm just selling my art on the blockchain. And if people like it, they'll buy it. And if they don't, they don't. If you don't understand why people buy art on the blockchain, if you can't get it, then okay, that's cool with you. But like, you know, there's plenty of people that enjoy doing it. And I'm one of those people that enjoys buying from other artists who support them too. Anyways, I started on OpenSea. And then slowly I moved to Foundation. I remember the first time I sold an art piece for one ETH. Like when I started, I sold at 0.15. I didn't think anyone was going to buy it. You know, I even made a video called like, let's see if I can make a dollar selling NFTs, right? Because I didn't think anyone would. But then I realized, or I found out that some of my supporters here on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, some of them are into crypto. It's like many of them are into crypto and NFTs. And you know what? They, they bought my artwork and that gave me a little bit more income to continue minting. So my, my idea was like, I'll mint one. And then I'll, if I sell it, then I'll use a little bit of that income to sell some more and then just keep going like one by one by one. And every time I made a sale, I put my money into like a ledger. So it could be like nice and saved and stored and I don't touch it. And that's basically what I did. Every time I sold one piece, I would mint a new piece and I'll just keep going like without the expectation that I was going to make so much or anything. But you know, the thing about crypto is it's exponential. I sold a picture the first time, I remember the first time I sold a photo for one Ethereum, I was just flabbergasted. Like I could never believe anyone would value my artwork like that. Cause you know, I put a lot of work into what I do. I, I mean, I know you guys know because I make videos all the time and I've been doing this for years. And I just never expected that my art could, could be worth something like that to someone. Some of you might be wondering why do even people buy NFTs? Some of you are more cynical. They're like, oh, they just buy them to flip them, blah, blah, blah. Is it so hard to believe that there's people out there that they want to support artists because maybe they became very successful with crypto. 
they, they want to support you. They want to help you. They want to, because they have a lot of crypto. Like, what do you do? Like, you have so much sometimes. Some people have so much that they have more than they know what to do with, right? And then artists like me, when we be, reach some level of success, we start to buy from other artists too. It's really something. And it's not something you're probably going to see with like regular money all too often. Eventually, I sold one of my pieces for three ETH. That's when I realized things were going to get really, maybe they can get pretty serious. Like maybe I can buy a house someday. And I just kept saving my Ethereum. You sell your, your NFTs for crypto. And crypto is very volatile. You know, it goes up and down in waves. Like there's peaks and there's troughs. And at some point, one Ethereum was like $4,800 or something like that. If you just wait long enough, it goes back to those prices and it goes up higher. It might take a year. It might take two years. Luckily, I sold some near the top. I made enough to buy land. And that's a dream that I would have never been able to achieve if I worked my entire life saving all my money. I would have never gotten there. Not just because I can't save much, but also because like the value of money is always decreasing. Like every year we got 2% inflation, an optimum rate. Like if everything was perfect, the economy was perfect, your money would only go down 2% per year. But that's not true. Like we all know it's going down like 10, 15% or something. And land's always getting more and more expensive. So like the money that you save is only going down in value and the price of land is only going up. So yeah, Realistically, I would have never, ever, ever been able to save enough for land. Uh, my land is, I had to, I moved out of Seoul. Like I moved out of Seoul to the countryside because it's cheaper. Like I cannot afford land in Seoul. Seoul's land is like $600,000 or something, something crazy like that. But here in the countryside, I got uh, some land for like uh, maybe 150 grand, something like that. It's, uh, it is still pretty expensive. Which, yeah, I'm telling you, that's how much I was able to make this first time around with crypto and NFTs. It was only possible because I took the step. You know, there's so many people out there calling NFTs a scam and crypto a scam. I'm not telling people to buy crypto. I'm not telling you you have to do this or you have to buy NFT collectibles. I'm telling you as an artist, I just sold my pictures as NFTs. And if people liked them, they bought them. And if they didn't, they didn't. And that's it. So where's the scam in that, right? And if you can't get it through your head, that's on you. But like I said, there's many other photographers who found success, found enough, made enough to buy new camera or new gear or take that trip they've always wanted. You know, some of the most successful photographers in NFTs, like they're pretty stellar. And maybe some of you watching this video, maybe you might be a better photographer. But you know, what separates you from them is that they took the plunge, like they took the chance. They, they took the time to learn about NFTs and become part of the community and that just uh, get to know other people and make connections and you know, people like them. So they su support them with their, by buying the NFTs. I did that too. That's why you weren't seeing me here on YouTube for like two or three years. Cause I was so focused on NFTs, but you know, if I spend those two or three years here on YouTube, I probably have like $200 from all that hard work. And that's just the truth. Right now I'm working on buying the rest of my house. I have half right now. I try to sell an NFT every now and then, and I just keep stacking it, keep stacking it. Doesn't matter if the price of crypto goes down, because I believe it will come back up, as it always has. It goes up, it goes down, people panic sell at the very bottom, people buy in at the very top. I'm just stacking. 0.1 ETH there, 0.2 ETH there. If I make some money from selling stuff, like I convert it to ETH or Bitcoin, doesn't matter. And in this method, I've been able to buy the land. I build the foundation for my house, but I'm, I, I'm halfway to having enough for a house, hopefully by 2024, 2025. And you know, once I have a house, then I just have to, I can have a, an actual YouTube studio. Like I can stream, I can exercise. I can just leave the camera there in the living room and I can make videos so easily, much more easily. Cause right now it just takes me a lot of time to set up, but that's kind of like one of my dreams, you know? This video is to tell you like, yeah, you know, I've sold quite a few pieces as NFTs and there's always going to be people who they just really, they just don't get it. You know, there's all kind of things they say and they just, they only repeat the things that they see in the news. But once you actually like dive into it and you study about like the technology and like the people and the cultures, like, so it's so unlike other, 
you, you get it if you start being part of the community. You start going to these events and meeting people. And it's not really something I can describe. Yeah, fortune favors the brave, right? Anyways, that's, this, that's it for this video. I wanted to tell you all that I've been finding success as an NFT photographer. Really, just as a photographer, but yeah, I took the risk. Which isn't really much of a risk, to be honest. Like, if you wanted to do NFTs, you don't need to spend $200 on ETH. You can spend like $3, $1 in Solana, in even Cardano or Tesos. There's so many blockchains. That's the thing. The, the average person doesn't understand that there's different blockchains. They think that there's just one. Oh, it's expensive. I'm not going to do it. But there's so many. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope... Yeah, I hope we get that house so we can make YouTube videos more often. I'll see you around.